Um, thank you, Professor Lee, for joining us today. Um, let's start with uh, you telling us a bit about uh, your uh, research project. Sure. Hi, uh, this is uh, Bingbing Li. I'm the associate professor in the Manufacturing System Engineer uh, program. Uh, we are working with uh, Raj uh, at Sim Insight and also uh, GP and Richard Donovan from UC Riverside. We're working on the project, pretty exciting projects uh, to create the AR. <clears throat> For the 3D printing operation, because the the pain point from my experience is that I'm working on the 3D printing, metal 3D printing for uh, uh, many years, and uh, I always took a lot of time to train my students to operate the 3D printers every every year. So whenever I recruit new students, assistants, and then I have to train them. And normally, for the Plastic 3D printers, we need to take uh, four to five hours, uh, right, to train them. And then for the metal 3D printer, normally I need to take three to four days to get the students familiar with all the operations, the maintenance, and the, the 3D printer itself. So it's a pretty good uh, uh, projects and uh, that will help uh, Asked a lot, and then I think I believe they will help the industry, you know, a lot as well. And then we get uh, excellent support from Sim Insight and uh, the CEO Raj and his uh, uh, engineer like Eric and Chris uh, helps us a lot, you know, to develop the AR system for us and uh, modify the workflows and with our students and then testify these. Uh, uh, you know, the demos and then on the real print uh, 3D printer operation. Thank you. Sounds great. Um, you know, a lot of people that we talk to, they're still trying to understand what is augmented reality and which device to buy. And they just have a lot of questions. And that makes sense because the technology is very new. So as you have been um, working in this field for, for um, a few years now, um, I, I'm wondering if you can talk a little bit about what do you think is the big promise or potential of using AR and maybe even VR and augmented uh, artificial intelligence such as computer vision, for, especially for workforce training? Yeah, I think the AR just uh, open the door and then provide a lot of potentials uh, right for the workforce training and then the operation because the AR itself is uh, it just made the the trend of digital threat right so like the smart manufacturing right now is uh, booming in the US and then there are a lot of uh, revolutions and also the industry 4.0 right so the AR itself they you can see they play a big role for the workforce training for us in my lab we have. <clears throat> we got the support from the same insight and then we uh, purchased the hardware is the Microsoft the HoloLens 2. And then we also utilize their software's uh, uh, hyper skills to develop the model in, <clears throat> in the AR. And then we integrate all the work, standard workflows and procedures into the model, digital model. And then we also integrate our uh, machine learning algorithm for the finger detection, the text recognition, right? So it's not just the, you know, the traditional way to, for the training. So for the new AR area, they will brought the new like AI assisted, you know, technology. So they can utilize the computer vision technology, right? To improve the accuracy and the efficiency of efficiency of your human robots uh, or the human machine interactions. And then we also test, if, uh, test that demo. So yeah, I think that give us a really bright future you know, for this area. Do you have any videos from your project that um, we can look at right now? Oh yeah, I'm more than happy to share these uh, two short videos like uh, you know, the 
Eric, uh, he's the engineer from Sim Insight. Uh, he helped us, you know, to work on these two demos. I can show you these demos. Can you see my share screen now? Yeah. Okay, this is the one of the demo you can see. Here is the virtual version. We have the developed the workflow in the AR. And then here is the press. You can follow the instructions, the press either standby mode or the maintenance mode. And then they will move to the physical control panel of the 3D printer. So you can see here, this is the virtual digital version. We created the model in the SOLIDWORKS. And uh, this is the physical 3D printer control panel. And then you will see the wherever we press the button on the standby mode, you can see the image, the magics yeah. happen. So over here, they recognize your finger gesture and the text uh, content. And then they showed you pressed standby mode. So I. I think you can see this is pretty amazing, you know, the one of the uh, demos. And I can share another one. Do you want this, another one? Sure. So this is another demo in the AR system. So here, press either standby mode of uh, maintenance, and then I press the maintenance. So the system through the cameras on the HoloLens 2, they recognize your, uh, your finger gesture and the text content, right? And uh, this is based on the machine learning algorithm we developed and then it's integrated into the AR system. Then they show you pressed. So they can follow by next step and then continue, continue the uh, training and the operation. I see. So by using the computer vision, the system, the HoloLens application knows what the user is actually doing. And then yeah, it, where you are doing and then where the location of your finger, your hands, right? And then the they can capture the exactly motion of your and also the interactions between the human and the machine. I see. That is really awesome. You know, I, we have seen a number of projects and we haven't seen one quite like this in, in the sense that you're using AI to close the loop between the instruction and the user's actions. And um, uh, my last question is, uh, what are sort of the next steps of the future work? Uh, I think people watching this video may be curious to know um, as a pioneer in this field, what would you, what do you think are the sort of the low hanging fruit or the um, some other applications of this technology that either you're thinking about or you would like people to try out, encourage people to look into? Sure, yeah. I'm more than happy to share all these ideas. I think this is the, the project we already uh, finished the working closely with uh, Sim Insight and then they provide uh, excellent uh, support and the technical solutions for us. So the near near term uh, goal will be, we will adopt this new uh, AR system for the metal 3D printing because in my lab, I have a uh, Renishaw AM400 is a powder bed fusion metal 3D pr uh, printing system. Because that one is uh, so complicated and there are a lot of uh, <clears throat> you know, the environmental and the safety issues and concerns. So we have to uh, work on that because normally the training itself, uh, the professional training that I took with uh, Renishaw, we, ha we had the whole week training for the metal 3D printing. So that's the standard, you know, for the industry and then for especially for aerospace and defense uh, industry. So that, that will be another perfect uh, uh, application in the meanwhile, uh, CSUN, we just get another grant from NSF. We're working on the, the future of work. The, we call it the future of work in the, in the new frontier. So that one, we are working with one recycling facility. So we hope we can 
develop the digital digital twin and the AR system for them to uh, sort out the organics uh, waste. So right now in the U.S., all the organics waste was sorted and recycled through the manual labors. So they hired all the because of the regulation, like California regulate, they have to be uh, sorted and recycled by manual labor. So they just use hands and then <clears throat> to recycle and sort this. And then we are right now we're working with them and then we can use the AI technology, right? They will identify all these different type of organics waste and also to the classification. So that we do the object detection and the classification through the AR system. And then the people, the workers, right? Wearing these uh, either like a HoloLens or wearable devices, right? Would equipped with the AR system and then they can do their job more easily, right? To do the sorting and the classification job uh, pretty easily. And also they waste this uh, computer vision. So this is, will be one of the technology. In the meanwhile, I think uh, I'm also working with Raj uh, from Sim Inside on the SF AI Institute uh, in the grant. So in that case, we will apply to the agriculture and the space agriculture and the, the uh, environmental engineered uh, agriculture on Earth as well. So in that case, you know the AR technology will be utilized, uh, you know, to train next generation of farmers, right? A lot of students at CSUN, they are underrepresented, underserved uh, students, right? From minority backgrounds. So in that case, they can utilize AR technology to train them to do the farming, the vertical farming, and then in inside of the, you know, the uh, chambers, right? All the controlled environments and also could be potentially, you know, the, for the education as well and the, in the K-12 and the community college and then for the space agriculture. So that would be exciting. Like, I think they will have a lot of, you know, the applications as well, uh, maybe food production and the other uh, transportation as well, right? So there are a lot of potential and even the semiconductor uh, industry and in entertainment, uh, and all these uh, new areas, I think uh, I'm super, you know, exciting. Wow, that's amazing. So you shared three potential next projects, the, the 3D printer, the recycling, sorting, and classification, and the space agriculture project. And, yeah. uh, you know, I, I grew up, <laughs> I, was, I was born in an agricultural family in India. Wow. <laughs> so my grandfather was a farmer and my father was the first in his um, you know, family to come to the city and he was an accountant. So I, I, you know, uh, until like five or 10 years of age, I, I have all these memories of working in a small you know, farming community in India. <laughs> so when you talked about yeah, same thing, like I also grew up from a small village in China, like both my parents, the other farmers. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> still farmers right now, yeah. <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah, back in China, yeah. So yeah, and, and Eric has a similar background. So all three of us have kind of made a big transition in our career. And that's a lot of people need to make that transition. So it's interesting that you're always keeping that that next generation in mind as you are designing your projects and structuring mm -hmm. how to work with students. So uh, those were all the questions. I, I, I'm very, very grateful to you for your partnership and for working with us and for doing this um, with us. And I look forward to collaborating even more on future projects. Sure, no problem. Yeah, keep in touch and then we will have more collaborations and then we, we can generate more us, uh, exciting uh, deliverables, right? And we can share and then serve the communities, yeah. That's exactly right. So thank you, thank you once again. Thank you. <laughs>